People keep asking about the metal rod now and what I actually use it for. What you actually use it for or what they know you use it for? What? Because they I, know. There we go. Yeah. You put it in their head you're that Kendall I... from the front, but you're not from the back. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I, this, this never really happens to me. Not having a never happens to you? That's, just, that's rude. They won't get the inside joke. Dragon fruit color. Don, you got it? I like it. Gray and pink. I like it. You want to run that? Yeah. What? Why are you laughing? No laughing. Because it's pink? I mean, it might be a little aggressive. That's what color. we want. Nice. You're the boss. Is it straight? No, that's. That's full. The, the that's dragon full. fruit is a full. Thumbs up. It is a full. Even me Calvin liked it. It was a uh, oh, rocket pop. That's the key I found, Chris. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is in front of the carpet. That's my key. <laughs> <laughs> you exposed my hiding spot. I tripped over it. What's all that shit? I don't fucking know. It's one of the Why are they cleaning your office? You're <laughs> dumb with OCD. <laughs> you want a backpack? Oh, it's the prototype that came out like shit. <laughs> no, absolutely. You don't want it? No. So cheap, we couldn't even. This is the sell it. <laughs> I don't even have to cut this clip. I just continuously <laughs> doing something. You <laughs> should look in Maddie's <laughs> office right now. It's <laughs> <laughs> my office, the closet. Oh, well, yeah, you did. I will. Didn't look that naked, though. Yeah, it's the same thing, it's just... Are awkward. those chairs from Revive still sitting in offices or people use them? They're sitting in offices. I could put them right here. You could. Yeah, I'm probably using yours, but I'm going to take them, so... Yeah. What about downfall chairs? He's using them. He has a fucking restoration hardware once. <laughs> Looks inappropriate. What the hell what is good? What the fuck is this? I need to buy oh. How are you standing here to watch him do? He's in the shade. I literally was just saying I'm gonna get a bikini in a laptop, so I. Crazy world we live in. If I killed them, that would be bad. Then you go straight back to Canada. I would. All right, so Dom has OCD, and I have the opposite of OCD, whatever you call that, DCO. So what is up, YouTube? I didn't really realize we started the video, but he felt the need to. We're moving warehouses, obviously, like you saw, and people just put fucking free shit and clothes and our new T-shirts and all this shit. 
in my office and it just sits there. Come on, we're in Florida, move it. And it just piles up and I have too much shit in there. So he had OCD and he had to like clean it up for me and we have people coming in and filming us next week. So we gotta look presentable. So I'm heading over to the gym to some of the old offices and I'm gonna steal some people's chairs. Steal a filing cabinet and make my office look all pretty and see if we can not be a bum anymore. Person drunk. Literally, like they're like trailing off the road. Probably. Yeah, you never know in Florida. Florida's a different fucking city, I tell you. We ain't in Canada anymore. Path job. Doing shit. Let's lay down in there, Chris. In mine? Yeah, you want to put in mine? Probably in yours, yeah. We might be able to, but are you going back in? Yeah, I'm going back. You're good. You're good, brother. Is that a telephone? Oh, it's it's not the street. You're moving your whole office, but you still have a sticky note. I still have a sticky note? For your office label. I'm gonna put that even on the Did you put this there? I did. Who the fuck cut my pineapple? <laughs> I was gonna ask if you did because I want to eat it. Bro, that was literally for a product shoot. <laughs> Who so the I'm... fuck did this? Really? Yeah, I'm dead serious. I bought that pineapple for a product shoot. Hold on. No, I haven't. Bro. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they just leave it there. Hold on, I hope wanted, Scott did it. They just wanted to have shot it. Dude, did you cut the pineapple? No. Someone fucking cut our pineapple for the product shoot. <laughs> I just want to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's literally cut and no one's... Where? Uh, <laughs> come in here and just snap it's, the it's fucking <laughs> cut. <laughs> it's actually cut perfectly too. Fuck, dude. You did a great job. Delicious. Organic. You cut, you cut our pineapple? I was to We have to figure out who cut our pineapple. My mom definitely Did you cut the pineapple? No, my mom did. Oh. She's a pineapple whore. Your mom did? Yeah. Okay, that's fine then. <laughs> no, you can't be mad. Well, that's the first for me seeing you do that. Really? That's kind of gross. We <laughs> do this all the time. Asians do this, don't they? Fuck no. Is there an Asian dish where they put pineapple in? No. Absolutely not. Pineapple fried rice? Um, don't even act like that's not a dish, I've, bro. I've that's never food. had that in my life. Go to Fujiyama. Like, literally give it to you in a pineapple shell. Oh, and it's yeah, fire. Yeah. Like, new office setup? Where's the fourth one? On its way. Give me a few months. Hey, what happened to those posters I brought to you? Can't hear that. In my garage. Just... Sign out to hang any of them up? They're in my garage. They weren't like personal moments, they were pictures of me, you know? I, that one you took of me back, coming off stage holding the trophy I would put on the wall. Alright, we'll get you some type of a print of that. Alright, so we work at a meal. It's a mega fit turkey, zucchini, and rice. And it's pineapple, because someone cut up Calvin's pineapple. And this is my new office setup. Hopefully you like it. I'm sort above the door, in case someone breaks in. I will cut your head off. Other than that, this is the crib. I'm gonna put this down, go to the gym, train arms, try and get huge. So, yeah, what else is going on? Also, today was the SIBO fitness drop. You guys have been begging us to put enough in socks that we don't sell out immediately. And we finally didn't sell out immediately. Some of our pieces did, I know, and I'm sorry, you guys are already annoyed about those. Like, pressure the privilege, set the standard, because they're always hot items. But we still have some Thavage items left. I don't know if they're still gonna be there when this video goes up, I'm not sure. But cbum-fitness.com, be sure to check it out. Either way, thank you to everyone who supported, bought some shit, I appreciate you guys. It's been cool, and then we're kinda expanding a lot more in the next drop, so I'm excited to see how things go in the next few months. And yeah, enjoying life. So, I'm gonna eat this, see you at the gym. Peace. Does that work? All right, so, arm workout. I'm starting with a little pre-exhaust right now. I've done three sets of like, I don't know, I didn't even count. It's a little over 10. I'm gonna just do a bunch of these until my arms are really sore. And then we're gonna move on to heavier movement. Try and pre-exhaust, protect my elbows, protect my shoulders, and not die. So that's how we're starting off this workout. And that's it, so stay tuned.
more sets than I've done in the entire workout. All right, we'll move on because the bench is open. Some overhead tricep extension, and then see if I can put my hands over my head right now because I'm very tight. heavily into the comfort zone of doing the same workouts every week and they all enabled my injuries to not expand and my flexibility to get worse so now trying new shit I'm so tight my wrists are shoulders are tight lats are tight but moving training in different ways will actually loosen me up so hopefully I don't die today and if I keep doing this I won't be so broken I just like doing that on the bouncing floor Safety first? Safety first. I don't know why I'm... I had one right here. Oh shit, my bad man. I appreciate it. Thank you sir. Probably shouldn't be filming this because I haven't done a free weight bench in two years. Actually, I actually don't think I barbell bench in two years, which is crazy. But this Smith's mission is taken. I'm not grabbing a bench from over the gym and bringing it all the way over here because that's too much cardio. So we're gonna try to do some free weights, push out some volume. Just fucking testing my limits today, trying new things, you know? Trying to expand my horizon. Are you testing your limits? No, just trying new things. My body's too stuck in like a plate of motion. I'm trying to move. Felt very lopsided. Ever since I tore this shoulder, I haven't done free weights like this. Because I stand like this, it's really fucking bad. So, I'm gonna see if I can balance this without falling on my face. I'm just like, I'm just like thinking I saw Ann's video and how he was benching and he dropped, and he like, well, the bar slipped out of his hand. Who, Ann Mantella? Yeah, like slipped and like almost hit his neck. This is the one exercise that hooked my thumb around and actually hold it. But I felt really crooked there. Damn. It's alright. I'll start somewhere, right kids? Like every time I put it back, it's gonna bounce on top. Of hey Chris, what did you learn about benching today? Calvin just showed me a video of fucking Hayden dropping 500 pounds on his chest. So what we learned today was to never bench press ever again. <laughs> we were putting our weights away, slowly and precautiously, stepping away from the free weights. It's more crucial for you because your body's so fragile that if you run a certain way, you'll tear everything. That's very true, I'm very fragile. I don't know what's wrong with me. Our neck shirts, instead of saying like, Pressure the privilege, like, set the standard, you're just gonna say, caution, fragile. <laughs> Thank you. 
hit it from every angle today. I'm gonna do two sets, underhand grip, reverse grip, whatever you wanna call it. Single arm, cable pulled in. Got nothing today. I lost my headphones somewhere too, they're somewhere else. At least it's not as busy today. Yeah, it's a Friday. Mobility really fucks you up on a lot of things. That's what I'm learning today. I'm literally so tight that I can't like properly get into a motion power out, given my shoulder also hurts a bit. But stay stretching, kids. You don't do the same exercises every day. Or else you're gonna end up like your father's hero with no range of motion. You can do a physique update today? Physique update? Yeah. You don't wanna see that. Well, it's I'll good. give you a physique update in 17 weeks. No, now. It's right there. The room's right there. All you have to do is go in there and just. Have you seen how bad the lighting is in that room? That's okay. Horrible. You're gonna have to do it eventually. Eventually? No expectations, only hopes. We might not be even trained. You know the here. difference between an expectation and a hope? What? Hopes are what you want to live in. Do you know why? Why? Because the hope feels better to succeed and not as bad to fail. And an expectation feels worse to fail and not as good to succeed. So on both ends of the spectrum, you're happier with hope than expectations. And expectations are the root of unhappiness. And who'd you steal that from? What? Who'd you steal that from? Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> I'm a sponge, bro. I don't need to take credit for it, I just gotta know it. I gotta live it and be it. He's a goat too, my favorite actor now. That's it for triceps. I have a lot of work. Ready to go home. Can you slowly squeeze your water ball like that? You don't? Nope. Getting up my anger and frustration at the world. I'm such an angry child. Side tricep. What? Side tricep. I don't know if I can. <laughs> yeah, no range of motion. Too pumped. Feels good to have a pump. I tested out our new hydration product before the gym. And it's just making me more pumped than I felt in a long time. 
beautiful. Four sets of bicep curls, dumbbell, two regular, second or third and fourth sets as you saw there. Curling one up, holding it there. Curling the other one up, holding it there, repeating on the other arm. So as I'm curling the other arm, I'm holding the other one at like a 90 degree static hold, I'm trying to keep my wrist rotated, tension on my biceps. If you don't get a pump from doing these four sets here alone, you're doing something wrong. So give her a shot, kids. The biggest arm pump you've ever had in your entire life. I think someone did. No, it's in my bag. Oh. <laughs> Why are you grinning at me like that? Trying to start shit? What am I not trying to start shit? True. Weak music today. Beautiful pair to the preacher curl is the spider curl. For obvious reasons, you're hitting it on opposite, opposite ends of the spectrum. One of them, weight's pulling down from this range of motion, and then the other one, you're forward. Elbows are locked a lot more forward, and you're pulling kind of higher with your elbow rising forward rather than stuck in place. And it really hits your bicep in beautiful different ways. So, superset this or do one after the other. It's a great workout. I'm tired today, I don't have anything to say. Finish like I started. Okay, do a bunch of sets of these. 10 to 12, really low rest. And then I'm gonna burn out with some reverse grip, easy bar curls, the brachialis. Call it a day. So I gotta go eat. I'm losing weight by the second. This video gets if this video gets 50,000 likes, Chris is gonna start a stream and he's gonna play whatever video games you guys want. Let's get 50,000 likes and I'm gonna stream. Yeah, you're gonna start the stream. What am I gonna stream? Gonna stream whatever you want. God of War, Assassin's Creed. That actually be cool. Cause it's coming out soon. We could start with that. We could start with God of War. See if it works. I'm so thought... bad at video games that people are gonna laugh at me for playing on the easy mode. That's fine. I just need 10,000 dollars to build your stream room. You need 10,000? Yeah. 
I do it on my current channel? Yeah. I need $10,000. Oh, dollars. So then you put sound panels in your room, and you put foam, and you put RGB lights. Why? So it looks cool. That seems unnecessary. It's not. It really okay. isn't. Not gonna happen. So that's gonna be a wrap on today's arm day. A little different than my variations, a lot more volume than I'm used to, just some different exercises. But sometimes you gotta live outside your comfort zone to grow. So felt good trying new things. I had a great arm pump, not gonna lie. Hydrate was helping me a lot. Scott's Mustang is very loud. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys all for who supported the job today. Still a few Fabish shirts left and maybe some other stuff that are we ordered a lot of, but Thank you guys, appreciate you guys. And drop a comment below on what you want to see in the future of my YouTube videos. Calvin wants me to start streaming. Either gaming, AMA, is AMA a Reddit thing? Live mm -hmm. Q&A, whatever you want to call it. All that shit. So comment below if you guys would like to see me stream, live videos, or just different kind of videos you want to see, and we will try and accommodate just for you guys, because we love you, the loud car. But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. I will see you tomorrow.